hello friends, uh, greetings from Iceland. This is my first flight uh, right after I came. It was about 10 o'clock in the evening when I got there. And I approached uh, the eruption site from the south, uh, from Meradal. I left my bike in Meradal and walked it up to here. So this is my first flight. This is how it looks from the south where the lava is spilling over into the valleys along Lidli Hrutur and Kistofat, there is a big sand valley and you'll see it uh, from the drone you see it's a lot of gases lots of smokes there and that's why this area had been actually closed today from uh, 9 o'clock or so I was the last one to get through one of the last ones though people do sneak through through the mountains because it's impossible to control this big area but you see this big uh, sand valley where the lava is spilling over and it's all running south and multiple rivers as you see and you will also see and also to the sides by the way as you see, but primarily to the south into that big sand valley which is going to be flooded uh, pretty soon countless streams it's enormous amounts of lava and this all what you see came just in six hours it is for sure one square kilometer and uh, before it uh, burns takes new territory of course uh, moss burns as you see and then there are lots of moss fires all over and uh, you know, it's kind of a bit challenging to be among those smokes over there close to the lava but still there are lots of people and um, because of the wind direction which go, which was going to change uh, they closed the area and I was speaking to the guards there and they told hopefully they will open tomorrow and perhaps tomorrow I'll be there again but this is the first drone flight you'll see more drone flights uh, of mine from this place I'm going to upload this night I just got home and we uh, I started to upload the videos so you will see everything what is going on in great detail every few days and you'll be informed to, to a great extent that's for sure because the place is rather um, easily accessible with the bike you can get the rail really in uh, half an hour 40 minutes with the bike so this is this big sand valley just south of little Hrutur that you see here uh, enormous valley that is going to be buried by the lava this is the biking trail that I used to bike last year uh, towards Meradal and this you see there are two mountains on both sides so it's real bathtub it's going to lava is going to go into this valley and it's going to pack it pack to get packed there uh, so it's kind of good uh, because simply there is nothing in this valley no vegetation just sand and it's kind of good for to start with you see how much smoke gases are all around this area is that you can't even see if you fly too high uh, those smokes to the right those are moss fires it's moss is burning and generates those uh, smoke smokes the wind uh, you can see the direction of the wind when I was flying I was flying about 70 meters above the lava and uh, later you will see also the northern part of the uh, of the fissures all the way to the end I filmed it from the every possible side and it's this big lava river is going running south it carries all the lava which um, is emitted from the fissures as you see so uh, it's uh, very special to be there and to witness it with your eyes and just to experience all this uh, we could come close to the